name's Chanel and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing five sewing projects you can make in under 10 minutes. Most of these projects are perfect for using up some of your scrap fabrics, so go and grab your scrap fabric stash and let's get sewing. The first project we're going to make are some lovely linen tea towels. This is a really simple project and a great one for beginners. Start by cutting out a 55 by 75 centimetre rectangle from your linen fabric. I'm using my water erasable pen to mark the rectangle out before cutting. Linen is one of my most favourite fabrics to work with and it's quite easy to get a hold of. You should be able to find it in most fabric stores. Next, iron out some of the creases. Linen does crease pretty easily by the way. And then hem the two longest sides of your tea towel by ironing and pinning in place. Stitch the hem down. To keep the stitches straight, I like to line the sewing machine foot up with the edge of the fabric. Next, head back to the iron and hem the two shorter sides of the tea towel. Next, we're going to make some scrunchies. I love making scrunchies from my scrap fabrics and I like to pop them in with every order from my online store. So it's fair to say I've made a fair few over the years. To make one for yourself, cut a 50 by 10 centimeter rectangle from your fabric. Next, fold the two longest edges in about one centimeter and iron flat. Then fold your fabric in half at the middle with the folded edges visible from the outside. Sew the fabric at the raw edge to create a kind of loop. Iron the seam flat, then fold the loop in half wrong sides together, meeting the two folded sides together. Sew the folded side together, leaving a small opening at the end to thread the elastic through. Next, cut a 20 cm piece of elastic. Using a safety pin, thread the elastic through the fabric casing. Tie the elastic together with a triple knot and sew the small opening closed. Now, let's make a super useful tote bag. Start by cutting out two 50 by 45 centimeter rectangles and two 80 by 8 centimetre rectangles. With right sides together, pin the two larger rectangles together along all sides except one of the shorter sides. Sew along the three sides. And if you have one, overlock the raw edges. Next, fold the bottom corner of the bag together, pinning approximately seven centimetres from the top of the point. Sew along where you've pinned, obviously removing the pin as you sew. This step creates a sort of fold in the bag, giving it a little bit of extra room at the bottom to carry more around in. To finish your tote bag, hem the top of the bag by folding in approximately 2.5 centimetres twice. Take the two long rectangle pieces and fold the two longest edges in about one centimetre and iron flat. Then fold the rectangle in half long ways, meeting the two folded edges together and iron this flat too. Then sew all along this folded edge. Once your handles are done, place them in the folded edge of the bag and pin in place. Pin the other handle on the other side, making sure they are pinned in roughly the same place. 
Stitch along the folded edge of the bag, making sure to stitch the handles down securely as you sew. This next project I'm really excited about and I didn't realise just how easy they were to make. Let's make some pillowcases. Start by cutting a 160 by 50 centimetre rectangle from your fabric of choice. I've used some gingham for mine and I'm in love with how they've turned out. Next, hem the two shortest edges by ironing and pinning, then sewing in place. Fold one edge of the pillowcase in by about 13 centimetres. Then, with right sides together, fold the pillowcase in half, meeting the folded edge and the hemmed edge together. Pin along the two longest sides and sew in place. Fold the pillowcase right side out and pop your pillow inside. And now for the last project, floral hankies. These are so quick and easy to make, but you'll need an overlocker to make these cute hankies. Start by cutting out a 22 by 22 centimeter square of fabric. It doesn't have to be floral, but floral fabric does make for a really cute hanky. Next, set up your overlocker for a rolled hem. I share how to make a rolled hem and how to set up your overlocker for one in a previous video, so I'll leave that link down below if you'd like to find out how. Then, simply do a rolled hem stitch along each side of your fabric square. Once sewn, cut the stitch chains off and press the stitches with an iron. And you have a super cute hanky. enjoyed this video if you do have a go at making any of these little projects then be sure to tag me when you share them as I would love to see also just a little note that I am going to be sharing how to make this dress I'm wearing in next week's video so if you're keen to see that then be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when that video goes live and be sure to come find me on Instagram at Rosary Apparel if you'd like to see some of the other things I make thanks for watching